Hey guys, Joel here. I'm doing another video, and today, yeah, I'm in a different location because I'm in summer camp, but purple is over, so I thought I might do my top 10 best Cartoon Network shows. Rules apply here, and there will be some major bumps along the way. If you're still with me, good. Let's do this. Number 10, Total Drama Island. Me and my big sister used to watch this show a lot. And since it's on Netflix, you can blame me. So the reboot, the recent one is a little bit, how should I say this, mediocre, but it's still actually a pretty good show, but some decent animation. Now the original show was amazing. If I had to pick my least favorite out of the original three that are on Netflix, I would choose Total Drama Action. Because that was the one I least watched. And then moving on to a musical? Eh. But that being said, I still recommend these shows. Number 9, The Original Teen Titans. Yeah, what can I say? The Original Teen Titans was actually good compared to the reboot that I might do a top 10 worst list on. But still, so this show has everything I want in a DC animated show. Action, great voice acting, just everything you want and this whole part so just here and even getting a directed DVD move be with it's reboot and dang who would win Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go? there's really Teen Titans the original one because that Teen Titans I can't believe it but that being said the original pick but Number eight, you know Kitty. Yep, one of Cartoon Network's lead. This is one of the best. Definitely started off well. Well, with the episode Sparkle Matters Matters. I haven't seen the spooky game episode, but I still enjoy Sparkle Matters Matters. I enjoyed the voice acting. Tara Strong as Unikitty definitely was a big surprise. And she does a very good job at it. Now, what can I say about the show that most people would not agree with me on? Oh yeah. Roger Crick Smith is the best. Number seven, Powerpuff Girls, the original one, not the reboot. Now, while I find the reboot a little underrated, I can see why many people hate it. It's another Teen Titans clone, go clone. That I can understand. But the original by Craig McCrack and Dem- I'll be out in a few, okay? Sorry, a sec. Big Sis is gonna take me and my buddy out called from Canada. So, Pop Up Girls was 1999 was good, but I have said that some of the episodes took a dip in quality in season six and five, but eh, I still enjoy the original. Number six, We Bear Bears. I definitely should have put this this on the best one, which it is. We Bear Bears is definitely the best out of all the shows I've talked about. 
Now, this one had the most unique flair out of all of them. I mean, three main characters. It's kind of like the Loud House, where it could be a little bit difficult to get used to them, but I actually got no use to them. I'm getting further and further into it. Because all these episodes, all the episodes were very uniquely and dealt with with modern day society. That being said, let's move on. Number five, Batman the Animated Series. Yes, I know it didn't air on Cartoon Network that often, but it did get made by Warner Brothers, so it counts. Batman the Animated Series is most unique for its most serious tone in some episodes. I mean, you get one episode where, where Batman gets a blame for crimes even though he didn't commit it because of a villain named Man that was impo his imposter. And the transformation was creepy. And I know many people have talked to this one to death because they knew how serious it was. Batman the Animated Series had the most unique flair for how serious it was. And I can't stay mad at Mark Hamill as the Joker. It's just unique. Number four, Sonic Boom. Well, of course the Sonic show has to be on here. Because, well, what else would there be? Now, I know that the game poorly did bad and in visuals and gameplay, but the show was funny. Like, many fourth wall breakings, some unique flair to episodes, and heck, even having the original voice cat as for most episodes. And like I said, Roger Craig Smith is awesome. Uh, mostly as Sonic because uh, you could just feel the uniqueness coming out of his voice. Number three, Steven Universe. First, what can be said about this show that hasn't been said before? Really, what can there be? Literally everything about the show hit the awesome levels levels of creativity and flair to most serious concepts like as force is distress forceful destruction I don't know how to say it. And also dealing with loss, death. And even... And choose trying to be perfect. It's just a very serious show, and I definitely feel like it definitely deserves the top three spots. It was originally number one, but by a small margin. What are the next two? Let's find out. Number two, Courage the Cowardly Dog. As you can tell by the shirt I'm wearing, Courage the Cowardly Dog is the best show Cartoon Network made in the 90s. Literally, everything about this show was amazing. Sing. Comedy? Check. Horror elements? Check. Awesome voice acting, check and mate. I just really can't get enough of all the spooky atmospheres Courage the Cowardly Dog put in through in most of its episodes. So, now, there are no honorable mentions for this one because Big Sis is going to take me soon. So, what can number one be? I think you know it by now. Number one, the whole, I repeat, the whole Ben 10 series. What can I say? Ben 10 was amazing. Like every, 
incarnation of the series is, has a special place in my heart. Why is Ben 10 better than Steven Universe and Courage to Cowardly Dog? One reason. It's uniqueness in animation. The show was made by a man in action. And who would later go on to make other than just assemble and generate a Rex and even Mega Man fully charged. But sometimes we don't really talk about that one. Ben 10 definitely earns a spot as the number one best Cartoon Network show. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next review which is a review of one of the most controversial Sonic games. I'll give you a hint. It has swear words in it. Guns and my favorite Sonic character of all time. See you then.